Hello everyone. So I've, um, I've put out the video about uh, how to mount this with a uh, metal case and also using a camera board. So you should be familiar with uh, where you want to go to with that. Now obviously the next stage is to uh, make the box for the mounting of your screen. So with this one I've got my screen mounting, uh, I've got my switch, uh, I've already pre-drilled a hole for my wiring because essentially what you want to end up with is your kit to be something like this. Um, as you can see I've got a, a weaver rail attachment here uh, whilst on here I've got a different version which is basically a, a tube clip. Uh, I've done two videos on that already in terms of you know, the difference. One's going to be more solidly mounted than the other uh, but obviously there's a cost associated to it. it we're, we're talking just a couple of quid so it depends on how well built that you want to have the um, system or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go through now uh, the kind of step by step guide to uh, really mounting the screen, the, dr uh, the holes, uh, what I drill, why I drill them there and etc etc because I think whilst it's okay to just say drill this, drill that, if I don't give an explanation as to the reason why you might think, oh well I can just drill it anywhere, and trust me, I've destroyed no end of these boxes and you know they're just lurking around and the, no use to nobody now because they've got too many holes through them. So, just clear this away and then uh, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. So, here we go. Uh, as I mentioned, I get my box uh, from Maplin. Uh, I had a raid on them today, well, not illegally, but legally because I actually bought the thing. Uh, and these cost uh, £3.98 from Maplin. Nice little box. It also has, uh, from one of my other videos, I've um, shown on how to mount your uh, 18650 battery pack to that, which, whilst I, have, I haven't actually got any to do, but I'll cover that kind of demonstration wiring after I've, I've done this uh, but I'll do another uh, wiring video because I think that my first two are probably not as best as I can. So all in all we've got those two parts. Now you don't want to be touching this at the moment, in fact you don't want to be touching it at all, it's, um, it's just there for um, screwing the back plate on and also holding the battery. Now the main um, holes that I'm going to drill, I'm going to drill a central hole here and also a hole in the side along here. Yeah, well, in fact, I could, I could go into any four of the corners. It's not going to matter. It's going to be personal preference, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. It's not going to matter. It's a switch, all in all. One thing I would say is for the switches that I use, I use a circular switch. And the re there's a reason behind this. Is if you, Obviously, using a drill, a drill is circular. You can get uh, a, a tool that will allow you to drill um, circular holes. However, uh, the, oh, it's probably going to help, probably more outweigh the cost of the build. You can have, oh, oops, sorry, there's too much light on this. Uh, you can have um, a square switch like this. Now, I bought this today by accident, and if I wanted to do this, I'm going to have to make a drill part, I'm going to have to then saw and cut away, and I've run more of a risk of messing that up and again wrecking a box. I've done that before, don't bother. So, stick with this uh, circular one. This one again from Maplin, um, I think £2.39, so not overly expensive. Um, now I've got a drill bit that um, I just push all the way through this box and it hay press so off we go. So what I'm going to do, uh, so to see uh, see all this through, I'll take this down to the, the old press again. But I want to just uh, briefly explain why I'm going to drill the back in here. Now the reason for that, uh, and excuse this, you'll, you've seen that on, on the uh, 57, 50 second night vision build, which I haven't had anyone comment on saying that they can beat it yet, so that's fine. So what it is, is you take that off, put it to one side, because we're going to glue this. As you can see here, you've got this ridge. Now you can, and I have done on previous builds, grind that down and file it. It is an absolute mess, I wouldn't even bother. The quickest... And, and this is what I do all the time now. The quickest is you use the uh, hole drill that I use. Again, I can't remember. There's a proper term for it. Um, 
hole drill that you put through there, do it centrally, uh, I'll just show you on how to centrally mark this initially, pop that through. The only other thing then is to uh, make sure that you've got these three holes drilled out. Uh, use an 8mm drill bit for that. So all I'll do on here, uh, if, if I pull these stickers off, oh by the way is once you start going down this route there's no turning back. Um, you will end up, um, well, voiding the warranty on these. Uh, but if you follow the instructions on the testing of the um, screen and camera you won't go wrong you'll already know that this is working so you can do what you like with it so okay I'm just going to pause this so uh, I'll get the, this back off uh, we'll, I'll just show you on how to mark this up and then off we go so I've got the box and the center finder which you've used in the previous videos now the thing is about marking this up here like so is it's not going to matter you're going to be um, gluing over the the top of this so you can scratch it as much as you like so, so I'm just making some initial guideline cuts here so you can see from the reflection I've got two X marks the spots so all I'll do then is I just find forgive me I've already measured the the width of this box and it's actually a hundred and 115 millimeters in length so if I just drop that down go across. And what I'm looking for is a, a point on there which is a wrong part Five point seven five centimeters. So I'm going to be wanting to drill approximately. Make sure the square. Approximately there. So I don't know whether you can see that I've made a small little scrape just there, and that's where I'm going to go through with my drill bit. So, right, we'll pop down to the, the drill and get that done. Okay, I forgot to mention that um, before we went down to the, the drill is I was going to um, take off the back and essentially what you want to do is you want to cut the cable that has the leads on which are uh, something like this. So just make that cut and get rid of that. Again, that's, I mean, once you're this part, there's no way you're going to be sending this back uh, under warranty for saying that it's failed. So, as long as you've done the test, you'll be fine. Now, what you want to do is, um, because you've got your centre point that you're going to cut through here, that's also going to line up in the middle for here. What you want to do is, we'll, once we, we'll take this part down to the drill, is we'll also um, do a very neat part, is once we've drilled through here, we'll put an 8mm drill bit through these once we've got this offered up and they're through for the cable because what it does it makes for a nice flush fit uh, whereas once you're ready to um, centralize your camera uh, sorry your screen you just pop some super glue on there and off you go and then that's done so um, what I'll do is I'll come back to that after we've done the drilling okay so we're here ready to drill so just set up properly so with this particular hole, we're not actually overly worried if we get if we do get far off. Because it's not going to be anything that's going to be centrally mounted, we're not going to be forced. So as long as we are within a reason, which is spot on, we're actually okay. So we'll just get this done. So, there we have it, excuse the 
plastic debris. It's one downside of doing this is you get it all over the place. Now, as, as shown, is this is where now, as you can see, it sits flush. So we can see that. So that's where you've got your screen nicely flush mounted. Now all that we need to do is now mark up the holes where your three buttons are going to go and your cable. So the easiest way to do that is to make it square up like so and take a some form of scribe or a drill bit or screwdriver and then mark up. I mean you can if you wish just punch straight through with your drill bit straight through here and off you go. Um, you take your choice for that. So what I'll do is I'll just mark these up put the holes through and then we'll go back and show you the rest of the build. Okay so my holes are drilled uh, you'll probably notice the top one I made a bit of a hash on it. What does happen if you're not using a sharp drill bit which I didn't realise that mine was a bit blunt and I couldn't bother to sort it out is it will tend to melt the plastic. If you take it uh, if, well, if you get into this state, don't worry, is this becomes very brittle and if with a, a bit of a hobby knife, craft knife, you're able just to cut around this and neaten this up. It's just this side you need to worry about, not the inside. Uh, also, what I'll do is I'll just also show you on the, uh, the switching location because I think that's quite important to get right as well. Um, for the switching element, I use one of these. This is a... Um, well, it's a, like a variable um, drill bit, really, just to um, take take through. But this is up to 20 millimeters, which ironically is just right for my switch. So literally, I just draw straight through. But what you want to do with this, might as well cover it now, is try and mount it as close to this edge as possible. Now, the reason being is. With this, if you're going down this route, you're probably going to be wanting to have the screen uh, and also a battery pack inside. If you mount it too close up here, you can sometimes find that the switch, due to its size, can foul uh, the location of the battery. Uh, I found that out after more trial and error. So it's, if you can get as close to that edge as possible, obviously what you want to be doing is drilling at least... Uh, tw uh, 10 millimeters or uh, basically a one centimeter away from this edge to here and then drilling through and likewise from the top because uh, ultimately once you've got that in and it's secured it's got a nice little clip that will hold it so I'll just get that done now and then we'll go back inside because it's bloody cold okay so we've got this um, switch mount or switch hole ready and then the final one uh, well, we can put it anywhere. Um, personal suggestion, just whap it in the side. And that's just an 8mm uh, hole again for your uh, cable to go through. Uh, and if you just bear with me, I shall just get that done. And then we will go, because I'm freezing to death. Right, and there we go. So, that's a hole for the cable, for the screen, and for your switch. So, right, let's go back inside. Okay, so I've had to <laughs> slight the edges out. I was having a right old hoo-ha with putting this together. It can be fiddly, but essentially I got it back together um, by the, um, you know, just messing around. Um, also, what I've done, I've just taken a bit of sandpaper around here just to make sure that it's all down. The uh, thing is, you don't have to worry about this because this is all going to get covered again. So all you need to do is initially offer up your cable in through, drop it in like so, and as you can see there, we're totally flush. Now, this is the point of no return, and by trial and error, I'll show you exactly on how best to do it, is what you want to do is you want to hold your camera so it pivots, in fact, I'll tell you what, even, even better, Tuck the cable inside like so. So you've got a very nice, neat square setting and it rests where it wants to be. Then what you want to do is just tilt back slightly so the camera, sorry the screen, I keep on referring to a camera, tilts back. Then what you want to do is take your favourite choice of 
industrial strength glue or whatever you want to use and then pop it around generously around some of the roughed up parts like so and also across the edges here being careful as they taught us all at school don't get it on your fingers because you'll be going to hospital and all the rest of the stuff so once that on what you want to do is then make sure that the cable is being pushed through as close as possible and then at the last minute line up all four corners and then press down because once you've got this in place that's it so there you go as you can see I've got it slightly off onto this side but that for what we're all going to be wanting to use this night vision for is going to be as best as you need it then all this needs to do is to fit the switch pop it in um, the white on these switches white moved across means on so if I just push that in like so just give it a bit of press and hey presto that is how you put your camera mounting box together I won't go with the through the whole works of how to sort out the battery pack because that's covered in a different video but there you go so that's your screen ready for then the wiring up to the project box that we did earlier